Okay. All right, so I don't know. We'll just start out uh, fishing some of the shoreline rush. This, I mean, the shoreline grass. And I'll just stick with the spinner bait. I uh, I took my trusty old KBD, which was the skirt was kind of getting bit up, and I put a little paddle tail uh, swim bait on there to give it a little extra bulk and stuff. Still got the trailer hook on it. So let's see, water clarity. Oh, it's a bit muddier now. We only got about two foot visibility. So, you know, as far as this, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's not bad. Let's just go ahead and see if there's any, any fish around this flooded grass. We'll give this a try right at first. Ooh, I had one. I had a, I had a hit. I had a, he sucked it off, but I, I just hand it. God, this damn handle. I gotta fix this handle. Yeah, I did have a half-hearted, what the hell is wrong with this thing? I know I should have looked at this thing. It's supposed to tighten up, and it's not doing it. Only when it's, no, it's not even tightening up back here. This ripper thing is not working properly. <sighs> ah, shit. This is not good. I might have to just buy another extension handle. Alright, let's see if I can get this guy to fight again. See if I can get this guy to bite again. I got weeds that time. Okay, like I said, I had a bite on a I had a bite on a spinner bait. A half ass uh, like a short strike. Let me get closer in here. So after go, we're going back a couple times, I says, you know what, I'm going to, uh, and then it felt like a couple retrieves I was getting a follow, like somebody chasing it and just nipping at it. So I got this uh, 10 centimeter Husky Jerk Helsinki Shad tied on. I'm going to try to try to use this along this grass without hanging up. So let's see how See how good I am at that. I just got to stay out of the grass, and but I got to get close to the grass. Okay, let's see. Ooh, yeah. That was a great catch. Yeah. Trying. Oh, I got it in the grass. Oh no, right out. Oh, that was beautiful. Let me cut this back here. This fish was right along here somewhere. I got on the old Hell 
stinky shit. Ooh, this is a nice fish. What is it? Oh, it's a pike. Don't bite me off, dude. I can't see where he's got it. I don't think he's got the whole thing in his mouth. But I got a pike on the old husky jerk, Helsinki Shad. He's a nice pike, too. Come on, get in here, Mr. Pike. All right, I got him. Oh, my God, this is a nice pike. Throw the sink it out. Okay. We got a pike on a jerk bait, and he's a freaking nice size pike. That's he probably was the one swiping at my bait. Oh, let me get him! I don't want to get hooked. Let me see if wait. Let me just see if I can get the damn hook out first. It's just in his, it's in his lip here. I probably can get it out pretty easy. There. Okay. Now let me get him before he. Starts going nuts. All right, I got him. We're gonna put this, put this over here. Put the rod over here. And we have him. Northern Pike. Looks like he's been, he's got some battle scars on him. Okay. Oh, I got the anchor off. Let's measure him real quick. He is 20, 26 and a half, 26 and a half inch pike. He's a good fish. Look at that sucker. Nice snorter. I can't get a really good picture of him, but here we go. Here we go. We got him on this side view, and we'll let him go right here. There you go, Mr. Norther. And he's off and running. And this is only a six foot medium action rod, so, you know, that was uh, kind of fun. I would much rather catch fish on a lure with a single hook because they're easier to land and less risk. You know, I got a video, I should repost it, of me getting a smallmouth, getting a treble hook embedded in my palm of my hand, like right here. And uh, I said like uh, 11 F-bombs in like two minutes, so... You know, I'd have to cut, I'd have to cut all that out. But I might, I might do that and post it.